Continuing coverage now of how a global tuck issue is affecting businesses and facilities. Tonight, some hospitals had to delay procedures. Medical offices couldn't access electronic records and order lab tests as well as prescriptions. 11 Live's Erica Murphy spent the day speaking with medical professionals about the challenges. The computers were down, but as we kept checking on things, they started to come back up. And when we started seeing patients this morning, some of the computers were working and some were not. OBGYN Dr. Sujatha Reddy says she realized there was an issue with the medical record system at her office on Powers Ferry Road when she tried accessing it this morning. The software outage caused several computers to go offline, making it difficult to treat patients. Even in the hospital, they were holding off elective surgeries until they felt it was safe. The patients were being wait, asked to wait until they could be checked in. And again, that probably took a lot longer if some of the computers were working, not all of them. IT and cybersecurity expert Wickinson Andre says the same blue screen that plagued computer screens at the airport also plagued medical offices and hospitals this morning. So there's a software update um, that um, uh, took place overnight uh, with CrowdStrike, uh, but apparently there was uh, an issue with one of the files. Um, so it caused uh, a lot of, you know, uh, what, what we call blue screen of death uh, for Windows, Windows users. Dr. Reddy says Northside Medical Offices and Hospital were able to find a workaround because only some computers were impacted, helping to keep delays in check. Reporting from Atlanta, Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News.